Hi everybody, welcome to ACE Engineering Academy and ACE Online. Here is an important notification from Coal India Limited. Let us see what is that notification. Recruitment of management trainees through computer based test in E2 grade. So, to go into the details of this notification, you have to use this URL coalindia.in slash career dash CIL slash jobs dash coal dash India slash MT dash recruitment dash CBT dash 2025 slash. Okay. So, this is the URL which you can use in order to see the notification and here you can see a link for application form. So, if you click here, you can register for this examination and at the bottom you can see detailed advertisement number 1-2025 for recruitment of management trainees through computer based test in E2 grade English. Okay, so this is the detailed advertisement and here Appendix A security related information prescribed certificate format for SC, ST, OBC, NCL, PWD, EWS all these things are there. Then scribe form is there frequently asked questions for recruitment of management trainees through computer based test. Then short advertisement in English and Hindi both are there. So this is the summary here clearly. Now let us see the detailed advertisement. So in the detailed advertisement it is given like this Coal India Limited, a government of India undertaking Maharatna company. So, recruitment of management trainees advertisement number 1 slash 2025. So, try to remember this advertisement number dear students because the future correspondence will be through this advertisement number only. Okay. Now, coming to the important dates. So, let us see the important dates dear students. Here, opening date for online registration of applications. Opening date for online registration of applications is 15th January 2025 at 10 a.m. this notification was released. Then last date of online submission of applications is 14th February 2025 up to 6 p.m. Okay, so this is about the important dates. Now let us go further into the details of this notification. So here this is through computer based test dear students and it was given like this the date of CBT will be intimated through the admit card for CBT admit card will be available for downloading through individual login portal ok. So, CBT date will be announced later and it will be on the admit card itself ok right. Now detailed instructions are available on page of login portal on CIL website I will show you the detailed instructions also. So, you can see here then coming to the qualification and eligibility criteria. So, here different kinds of disciplines are there, post codes are there and minimum qualification requirement is there. Now, coming to the name of the discipline here, community development is there, post code is 17. So, post codes you have to remember dear students, this is very important here. Now, post code 18 environment is there, first class degree in Environmental engineering with minimum 60 percent marks or any engineering degree with PG degree or diploma in environmental engineering from a recognized university or institute with minimum 60 percent marks. So, environmental engineering students can apply for this one or any degree students, okay, any engineering degree students who have specialized in their post graduation in environmental engineering can also apply for this post and the post code is 18 try to remember that then next one for engineering students materials management is there this post code is 22 here and here you can observe clearly engineering degree in electrical or mechanical engineering with two years MBA or PG diploma in management with minimum 60 percent marks. So, this is the criteria electrical or mechanical engineering students who have MBA or postgraduate diploma in management can apply for this materials management post. Okay, then the next one coal preparation post code is 25 BE, BTEC, BSc engineering in chemical, mineral engineering, mineral and metallurgical engineering with minimum 60 percent marks. So, this is what is given here. Then for security it is graduate it is given. So, you can see the details here. I will show you shortly 
how many number of posts are there for each and every discipline that is given there. Then here he has mentioned however in environment coal preparation and materials management disciplines the engineering should be engineering degree should be of full time regular course only. So try to remember here full time regular course candidates only who have done engineering degree they only can apply for this environment in and coal preparation as well as materials management. Then minimum experience required. So minimum two years service in officer executive cadre with either armed forces or central police organization or minimum five years service in officer executive cadre with other government PSEs, PSU and private organizations for security discipline. This is the experience that they are asking dear students. Okay. So try to go through this notification clearly before applying. Then the next one here candidates who are currently studying in final semester year trimester or session 2024-2025 of minimum required qualification are eligible to apply. So that means who are studying in their final semester also they can apply that is what they are mentioning here. Then the candidate must clear all the subjects of final year semester trimester whichever is applicable in the academic year 2024-2025 in single attempt and should have cleared all previous year semesters trimesters as on the date of declaration of final results. So this is what he has mentioned. So that means final year engineering students are also eligible to apply. Okay, final year degree students are also eligible to apply for the required or specified posts. Okay, then general conditions graduation must also be from university institute recognized by appropriate statutory authority in India. Engineering degree MTech should be of regular full time course. The MBA PG diploma PG degree must be from recognized university or institute recognized by appropriate statutory authority in India and should be either of two years regular full time course or online or correspondence or part time course. Okay. So, the people who have done PG diploma or MBA in correspondence also they can apply or through online mode also can apply for this position. Then coming to the tentative vacancies. So, here environment the total number of vacancies are 28. So, for environment the total number of vacancies are 28. So, here try to remember this. Then next materials management. So, materials management, the total number of positions or vacancies are 44 dear students. Then, personal and HR, 97 vacancies are there. So, just go through these vacancies in detail. Then, coal preparation. So, coal preparation, total 68 vacancies are there. Overall, 434 vacancies were notified in this particular notification. Try to go through this carefully. The above vacancy is tentative and may increase or decrease as per the requirement. That is what he has given here. Then coming to the selection process, selection will be based on the marks obtained in the computer based online test. Okay. So based on CBT, the selection will be there. The details regarding the date of CBT will be intimated through the admit card for CBT. The admit card will be available for downloading through individual login portal of the candidate and no interview will be held for the final selection. That is what he has given. Before applying, the candidate should ensure that they fulfill all the eligibility criteria. Admission to computer based online test will be purely provisional. Okay, so these things. The test cities, the computer based online test will be held at test cities as mentioned in the online application. Candidates may opt for three test cities in order of preference and the same cannot be changed after the online form is submitted. Okay, so kindly go through these details carefully dear students. Then the most important thing, so computer based online test. So computer based online test here you can observe carefully the duration of computer based online test will be for three hours in one sitting consisting of two papers paper one and paper two of 100 marks each. So 100 marks will be there for paper one 
and paper 2. Paper 1 will consist of general knowledge, awareness, reasoning, numerical ability and general English. Okay. So, general knowledge, general awareness, reasoning, numerical ability and general English will be there in paper 1 which is for 100 marks. Paper 2 will consist of professional knowledge that will be discipline related with 100 multiple choice questions in each paper. 100 multiple co choice questions will be there in each paper. Each question will carry one mark and there is no penalty for wrong answer. So, there is no negative marking here dear students. No marks will be awarded for unattempted questions. The question paper shall be bilingual that is in English and Hindi only. So, this is what he has given. The qualifying marks in computer based online test for general category and EWS minimum 40 marks in each paper. Then OBC non creamy layer minimum 35 marks in each paper and SCST PWD minimum 30 marks in each paper. That is what he has given clearly dear students. Okay. So final merit list will be prepared based on the marks obtained in the computer based online test only. The final list of selected candidates against the vacancies will be uploaded on the CIL, Coal India Limited website. So, these candidates will be intimated about document verification and initial medical examination. Okay, all these things. So, suppose if any person is working in any of the government organizations, they have to submit no objection certificate. Okay, so all these things you can go through. Then application fees. Application fees. Candidates belonging to general, OBC, creamy layer and non-creamy layers, EWS categories are required to pay a non-refundable fee of 1000 rupees plus a GST of 180 rupees. So, total 1180 rupees. So, this is the application fee for these candidates. However, SCST, PWD candidates, employees of Coal India Limited and its subsidiaries are exempted from the payment of application fees. All these things he has given. Now, coming to the age limit. So, age limit, the upper age is limit is 30 years, upper age limit is 30 years as on 30th September 2024 for general EWS category candidates. Then OBC 3 years relaxation is there, non-creamy layer, SCST 5 years relaxation. Then persons with disabilities, unreserved 10 years, OBC non-creamy layer 13 years, SCST 15 years. Then ex-servicemen as per government of India guidelines, there is the age relaxation that is given. Okay, the upper age limit is relaxed subject to the condition that maximum age of the applicant on the crucial date that is 30th September 2024 shall not exceed 56 years. However, there will be no age bar for employees of Coal India Limited and its subsidiaries. So, this is what he has given in this particular page. Then reservation and relaxations related information. So, for getting benefits of reservation, all these things, some information is given. So, kindly go through this information. Then, coming to the application form, Coal India Limited MT application form. So, here, as I have shown at the beginning, link for application form is there. So, if you click on link for application form, so the page will open like this and here you can see to read instructions, click here it is there. To read advertisement, click here. Already we have seen the complete details in the advertisement. Already registered students can log in by clicking this link. Then new registration. So you have to click this link. So click here for new registration. So it will open like this and here you can observe the entire login or registration procedure here. Register to get user ID and password. First, you have to select the post name. Okay. For example, let us take material management. Then the post code is automatically displayed here. Then candidates or applicants full name. So, please enter your name strictly as per matriculation 10th certificate or SSE. That is what he has given. Mobile number, confirm mobile number and alternate number, email address, confirm email address. So, you are required to provide correct mobile number and email address as all important communications are to be sent to you using the same. Then here you have to click generate OTP. So, when you click generate OTP, 
for mobile number one OTP will come, for email address another OTP will come. You have to verify both the OTPs and then give the declaration I agree, enter the CAPTCHA, then you have to go for re-verification. Okay. So, once you re-verify, then you will get the credentials. So, here on successful registration, you will receive the login ID and password on your registered email ID and mobile number. Use these to login and fill your online application form. Okay, if in case of any difficulties, you may contact the help desk through the help desk tab after login and phone number is also given from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on working days only. So, you can see the phone number that is displayed here. Now, coming to the instructions. So, detailed instructions are given here. So, opening date of online application form and last date for submission. Last date for submission as I already told you, 14th February 2025 up to 6 p.m. So, read the instructions carefully and click the click here hyperlink button in front of the two register bullet item for registration of online application. Here also he has given in the instruction pages. So, everything right for detailed notification, please click here he has said. See, before start of filling up of the application form through online mode, the candidate should keep ready the following details and documents. Valid email ID and mobile number. Scanned copy of the recent passport size color photograph not older than three weeks. Candidate should ensure that the same photograph is used throughout this recruitment process. Scanned signature in JPG or JPEG format. Then details documents regarding educational qualification from 10th standard matriculation onwards. So you can do this. Okay. So you have to keep all these documents ready. Right. So, work experience as per the criteria. Then for other category students, their respective forms should be there. How to apply? Candidate should have a valid personal email ID and mobile number. The email ID and mobile number entered by the candidate in his her online application form must remain valid for at least next one year from the date of filling the application form. Okay, application sequence number, password and all other important communications will be sent on the same registered email ID and mobile number dear students. Okay, so candidates should take utmost care in furnishing providing the correct details while filling the online application form. You can edit the information only before submission of application because once the form is submitted it cannot be edited. Okay, so registration details related information everything is given dear students. So, kindly go through this while filling up the application form and photograph image, what is the size of that, signature image, what is the size of that, then what are the certificates, documents required, everything was clearly given in this particular page, kindly go through that before applying, okay. The last date to apply is 14th February 2025, dear students, okay, all the very best, thank you.